Guys, we finally have Mutt Rewards. So yes, we do have Mutt Rewards for the Harvest promo. And if you are legendary status, it is going to be two Pro Elite Packs. Which, to be honest, I kind of wish we got better Mutt Rewards. I get, I'm not trying to complain because it is free, you know, packs at the end of the day. And can't really complain about that. But I kind of wish, you know, I feel like last year's Mutt Rewards were a little crazier. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but it would be cool if we got like maybe like a legendary pack as like on my awards. But so far, so sweet. This is what my mutt words end up being. So nothing too crazy special. Definitely interesting. So guys, today I want to go ahead and take a look at the market though and take a look at where the market is headed. And also I have a lineup update. So let's go ahead and open up this daily pack right here. But uh, with the brand new release of the Harvest promo, I really didn't take advantage too much of the Harvest players. But what I did take advantage of was actually going ahead and the market shift. So the market did not shift really much at all. It shifted like maybe 1% once this promo dropped. And it is kind of surprise, um, not surprising at all. Especially with the fact that, you know, you have a lot of people selling their teams right now because they're getting ready for the Blitz promo. So... With the Blitz promo on the horizon, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So I actually did go ahead and max out um, tier 8 of Legends. I did this before and I do it again. It's because you do get, if you go ahead and max this out, you get plus 1 speed, plus 1 acceleration, plus 2 agility, plus 2 jumping, and plus 2 strength. So all my Legendary players are getting all these boosts. I also do have two strategy items. I actually have the one you get from solo challenges. I mean, from leveling up, uh, which of course is, um, if I can actually look at this real fast, plus two zone, plus two man, and plus one press to all my DBs. And then of course I do have offense alignment one, which is plus three, one uh, pass block, plus two impact block, plus one uh, pass block finesse, and plus one block power. So, Increasing all my offense alignment right there. Of course, we are rocking Josh Allen the free Josh Allen now Even though yes, this is my receiving core. I still do have Tyree kill I'm doing what I, I doing what I did before where I have him at kick and punt return so I can sub him in the game I just sub him in while we go in for chem purposes uh, For defense we do of course have Derek Brooks new addition to the squadron uh, he is sitting here at 91 speed, but of course his biggest thing is his zone in man covers 90 man 90 zone God tier absolute God tier guys. Uh, we do of course also have Derwin James. We have Glover Quinn D'Angelo Hall. We picked him up recently. We also picked up an uh, alias Williams uh, I went absolutely on a spending spray. I spent like three million coins on my defense I don't know why I just randomly felt like it. So uh, we do, of course, now have a God tier defense. Picked up Cameron Wake with the addition of the Series Redux cards, which, of course, the price tags all dropped immensely. Now, on this squad, for the most part, I do have some cards that are 500,000 coins, uh, for 500,000 coins, which, again, like I said, I do not recommend holding on to those cards because of the Blitz promo. Um, I'm doing it for gameplay purposes, and obviously, so that's just me. But if you are not a content creator, I recommend not doing that. Now, I will say overall wise, you know, I like the squad. I really do like the squad. I got Tank on my man, Derrick Henry. We got a pretty solid roster. So I kind of feeling moving forward. I mean, I'm just going to really target legend players. And when I'll be the Blitz promo coming up soon, we have the legend promo this weekend. I'm probably going to be continuing to target legend players. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the ta, 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 John Elway. I almost said Dan Marino. I almost said Dan Marino, but I did not say Dan Marino. John Elway's price. He's a 96. He's the only 96 overall in the game. Uh, his price tag now is sitting at 4.35 milli. So he is dropping immensely quick. Which I did say by the end of this month, he would probably be around eight, five, eight hundred thousand coins. Which I'll be honest with you, that is pretty much exactly what I'm expecting. Especially with the Blitz promo coming out, this should continue to drop. Now, surprisingly enough, the Team Diamond players in general are not really dropping that quickly. Uh, so he's dropping quickly because obviously, in order to complete him, you have to do all the sets. 
but the players are actually pretty much staying at a regular 300,000 coins plus. Now, this will drop again, like I said, during the Blitz promo when there's Fire Fantasy packs and there's easier chances to get these Team Diamond players. So, it's going to be a crazy end of the month. So, of course, we did get our first technical release of the Blitz promo. And that is the fact that if you do solo challenges, we go all the way up here to the, I think it's the yesteryear. Uh, yes. So we have Blitz Bucks. So it looks like, uh, just like always, this happens every single year. During the Thanksgiving promo, you're able to go ahead and get some Blitz Bucks. So you're actually able to kind of, you know, start stacking them up, getting ready for the Blitz promo. Uh, and again, like I said, these Blitz Bucks are very important. They're used to buy cards in this uh, store. Plus, are used to buy packs in the store to go ahead and get Blitz tokens to use to what whatever legendary player they end up choosing. So, very exciting. Cannot wait for the Blitz promo. Um, again, like I said, if you are looking to spend money during any part of Madden ever, the Blitz promo is the time of the year to spend money. So, it's, it goes the Blitz promo, it goes then it goes number two, would have to be the um, not Super Bowl promo. The um, Zero Chill promo, and that's it. No other promo should you spend money at all this year for. Not worth it in any uh, capacity. So if you guys have not checked out my video yesterday about how to get your 20 fumbles done, make sure you check out that uh, video. I do go ahead and cover um, all how to get all 20 fumbles. Um, overall wise, as you guys can see, I have completed a lot of these. Um, rushing for this is like absolute like point teeth especially because of how house rules works now where you get four possessions with the ball whoever is closer to the end zone wins so you pretty much are going to take a guaranteed l if you just keep running the football and it really just is mind-boggling annoying and i played like i think 10 games now so far i have not had anyone just run the football non-stop so it's one of those things where if you want to get it done, you kind of just have to keep continuously taking L's, and that's pretty much that. Um, of course, if you are going for the daily objectives, the longest times mine didn't actually count. So as you guys can see, I am 25 away. So I'm five away from actually getting this maxed out, which is freaking awesome. Uh, you do get 45,000 to so make sure you are doing your daily objectives. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like, comment down below. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions of the Blitz promo of this you know harvest promo entirely i'm gonna tell you right now i'm gonna give this har harvest promo so far a solid b plus i don't think it's an a tier promo i think it's a b plus tier promo because it's it's all right i don't think the thing there's anything wrong with it but there's not anything too crazy special with it it really is the same promo it is every single year. I was kind of thinking that EA Sports might go ahead and actually, you know, throw a little twist in there, but they absolutely did not. Uh, if you guys are trying to upgrade your players, keep in mind, you are you need to go ahead and complete this set to upgrade your player. So if you're going from 88 to a 90 overall, this set can be repeated three times. So you can actually get three 90 overalls. Um, I thought it was going to be more than three, but it looks like it can only be three overalls total. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit the likes, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.